Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistenralph. If you've been watching the channel from the very beginning, you probably know this... This has not been cut the entire time that I've been... I may actually have to... See, it goes that far down. <laughs> Here's... Uh, here we go. There you are. This is me on my tiptoes. That's how far down my hair goes. It's been quite a while um, since I've gotten this cut. And one of the reasons for that is because I'm actually about to donate this in about 10 minutes, about to head out, uh, to donate this to a charity. Uh, a lot of you have heard of, like, there's the Pantene program, there's Locks for Love, Locks of Love? One of those. And I'm about to donate my hair to that. You only need about 8, eight or 10 inches, respectively, but a little bit longer. I'm sure someone would appreciate having a wig that doesn't just barely come down. It actually looks full. Yeah, that's what they do. So you have your hair cut, and then they just simply make wigs out of it. I think they said it takes like six to eight uh, sets, ponytails. I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail in order to make a full wig. And so I'm going to do my part. It doesn't cost me anything except a little bit of shipping and the haircut, of course. I think in some places they do it for free, but I'm not sure. Besides, this, this even if my hairstylist doesn't, she's cool. She's worth supporting. Anyway, yeah, so now there's a reason why I've been reluctant to do this for some time. Uh, my baby loves my hair. There's probably a bunch of videos on the screen of her just playing with my hair. So that, that's part of why, why I've been so reluctant to do that. And then the rest of it is just getting an appointment schedule. But now that she's to the age where it doesn't, it's not as fascinating to her, I mean, I remember a video of her just, just doing this. My goodness, it's the most adorable thing. Now she's gotten to the age where that's less relevant to her. She doesn't play with it like she used to. She doesn't explore in it. And so I figure now's a good enough time. You will see me in this spot in just a bit with much, much, much less hair. So, let me get a couple things out of the way that I'm not going to be able to do quite as well for a little while. Um, and then, here we go. Alright, so first thing, first thing. I'm going to miss this probably the most. Also, something I might miss. I can be Cousin It, I guess, or just some really, really... Oh, what was it? Was it The Ring or The Grudge? It's The Ring, right? Seven days. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna crawl out of the TV. <gasps> okay, enough of that. That one Eva actually still is interested in. And is there anything else that I won't be able to do for a little while until my hair gets longer? Because I will grow it out. I think I want to keep doing this. Grow my hair out for a while, then have it cut for somebody else, you know? Someone's going to appreciate that. Make someone's day. Yeah. Especially if there are a lot of these go to little kids who... Okay, so for those of you that don't know, when you get cancer and you get chemo, your hair falls out. <laughs> if you're a little kid, and you, you're a little girl specifically, and you don't have hair, that can be kind of a self-esteem issue. So maybe someone out there will appreciate, you know, some little kid will get a wig made out of my hair, and I'll have made someone's day. A lot of these wigs, when they're made, they're given out free of charge. Just, if you can, if you can, do it. If your hair isn't colored, hasn't been bleached or anything like that, then just go for it. Why not, right? You'll make someone's day. I think I've said that enough. Said that on the loop. Alright. Oh yeah, that. This thing, where you can just go... <laughs> I might miss this too. Just for that moment where it pauses and my hair looks like... I imagine if, uh, if Donald Trump could grow his hair out and it would just start like... <laughs> or something like that. Oh man. Alright. Let's get started. Let's get it... Let's do it! Oh, so here we are. Just, uh... Got it in that nice long ponytail again. It goes down that far on the front. Good grief. Here, let me see if I can... I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at this. 
Uh, somewhere down here. Ta da! Alright. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah, about to go in, about to get that all taken care of. Yeah! I'll see you later. Alright, mirror attack. I'm working on it. Alright, so this is what I look like. Watch her work her magic. Yeah. yeah. I guess you saw I also shaved the beard before this too. Yes. I thought it would look a little bit better without that. I don't know though. You know, having a long beard and then comparatively short hair seemed like it, would, it wouldn't quite work by me. Yes, it wouldn't be the offset. So. Yeah. You're right. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. You actually can have a small ponytail. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, my mom's been bringing this up for quite a bit. She, you know, she definitely thought that it would look better if it's uh, if it's more manageable. <laughs> But your head, you'll probably have a lot less headaches too because your hair was real thick and heavy. Yeah. And the weight going on here, or your hair pulling on your head, you can cause headaches too. When I was, uh, when I was running, you notice how a lot of runners have short or no hair? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a reason. There's quite a bit of weight going on when it gets that long. And it locks in the heat too. Right? And it locks in the heat, which I guess this time of year wouldn't be so bad, but no. you know. <laughs> about summer, you'll have a long run again. That's right. Now I get this cool little shot where the screen is looking at the screen, is looking at the screen, is looking at the screen. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oops. Guess what got in the way there. All right. Yeah, there we go. I'll take it. <laughs> that works. We're good. Oh, yeah. I looked like Leffen from, oh, never mind. <laughs> I think it's that. Oh, man. All right. Ta-da. All right, let's do the screen into the, into the screen, into the screen, into the screen. That's way out of focus. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that, look at that, for just a quick second. That is cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Yeah. So I was worried I wasn't going to be able to do Cousin It, but apparently I still can. <laughs> that works. Look, it's crawling away. Ah! Oh, no! I'm not very good at this. You can't quite see. Oh, whatever. Okay, that works. Yeah. Not so bad. I can still make a ponytail out of it. And they still had quite a bit to go. Alright. Well, I'm glad someone can use it. Absolutely. Yeah! <laughs> see you in a bit. Praise the sun! Yeah, this is it. This is me, or more specifically, this is me. That's it. I can still do a ponytail. That's awesome. And when I take it down, it's a rubber band, so it's required that as soon as I untangle it, I fire it at nothing. All right, so this is it. Okay, it still needs to, oh, wow. Okay, it still needs to dry, as we can clearly see. I think my last name needs to be Tudor after this. Look, I, I'm a Shakespearean character now, aren't I? Okay, no, seriously, this is... It works. I can still... There's still a little bit left, so I can do this. <laughs> That's... At this point, whatever. So, here I am. See, it's not so bad. It's not so bad at all. Um, I had enough that she could actually lower the ponytail just a bit, so this is why, that's why I have this much left. Um, but yeah, even if you're getting it cut down, you know, much shorter than that, by all means, go for it. 
um, someone will appreciate it. And you know, if your hair is as long as mine, you might too. That was kind of heavy. It gets kind of warm after a while too. That's all right. All right, I'll see you later. T1 Glistener Elf, signing off. Take care.